What's up everyone? Meister here with another video. This time, a very interesting topic for sure, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been wanting to know about this topic for a while now. Uh, let's just say that we had a bit of a pause in Smash for a little bit, and um, now tournaments are back, and we finally have a ranking again, so based off of that, the PGR is coming back. This time it's region-based, so like, it's gonna be separated between NA, Europe, Japan, and it's also based on a panel, which is, hey, a ballot that I get to vote in. <laughs> I am going to be voting for how I think PGR should be arranged. This obviously, like, there's a lot of people doing this. Lots of players. Lots of top players, mainly. This doesn't mean that this is what fully contributes towards how the PGR is going to look like. PGR team has an idea of, like, how it should be like, you know, it was a short season. It makes sense that they make it panel based, you know? With that said, let's get right into it. We got the link over here with the spreadsheet. Let's take a look at the instructions. So it says, enter your info on the right. Oh, <laughs> I actually didn't see that. Oh, all right. My tag is John Cena. My name is... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, 10 equal best player on the list. That's the most are okay. Please rate or check score low for a minimum of 51 players. Multiple players can't have the same rating. Don't worry if you are an exact, your scores will be scaled as per the last tab. Oh, okay. After ranking 50 players, you may check score low. If too many panelists abstain from a player, they will be ineligible for the list. Based on quality and quantity of results from March 1st, 2022... Oh, so Summit counts! Never mind, all of a sudden they said, hey, Summit counts. AC. Honestly, I'm gonna abstain from him. Because, like, only time I've heard about him was Genesis. It was, uh, because he beat Tweak, which is a pretty good win. But after that, I didn't hear anything about him, so I'm gonna abstain from him. I haven't heard of Anathema in a while. I know he was at Momocon, but I don't know what he, what placement he got there, dude. Genesis, 33rd, 25th, 30th. Eesh. I'm gonna say probably, uh, 6th, maybe. Apollo Kage, he got 13 at Pound, 7 at Low Tide, 3rd at Back in Blood, 17 at Momocon again. Well, this is not bad. He might be an 8. Atelier, probably a 7.5 again, dude. Like, Axiom. 25th at Collision, and 25th at Pound. Might be a 7, dude. Base Mage, 9th at Battle of BC, 17 at Low Tide, 25th at Genesis, and 7th at Summit. I think he might be an 8. Big D, I actually cannot find his, um... Okay, we got Big Dookie. <laughs> What if that's what Big D stands for, man? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, man. Battle of BC, 13. Genesis, he got 25th. 25th and uh, 17th at Battle of BC. He got first out of a 7-man weekly. First out of a 23-man weekly. 67. I mean, Genesis and Battle of BC should be enough, though. I'll give him a 7 just because, like, he does have some, but he doesn't have a lot. Big Boss, dude. He is an interesting one for sure, I'll tell you that. He has 65th at Collision and 49th at Momocon. Oh, I actually did not notice that. In that case, Aaron might be a six. He got fifth at Geekfest, 13 at Low Tide, 17 at Genesis. Oh, he lost to Cole and Gluta, though. A 13 at Low Tide and 17 at Genesis, and then fifth at Geekfest, which did have Chag, Spargo, and MK Leo, so it was actually, like, decently stacked. We're gonna give him a seven as well, dude. Chag. Chag is a very weird one, too. Because he started off with a 7 that collision. Alright, so Chag, like I was saying, he had a very good start. He got 13 at Battle of BC. He has first place at the one in Qatar. Chag is probably a 7 as well, dude. Next up, we got Chase. 17 at Low Tide. There we go. There's one major. Very cool. My man, how much online does he play? 65th! Uh, he might be like... Well, let me take a look at that image again. He might be a... Yeah, a 5. No, I'm gonna give him a 6. Should I give him a 6? 5.5 maybe? 5.1? Yeah, maybe. Colorondo is actually someone I just met at Low Tide. And I actually not heard of him ever since. So, there we go. Cosmos is another interesting one. Very, very interesting. Cosmos did not get top 8 at any of the... The tournaments, I don't even have to look him up, I actually know what he got. He didn't make top it at any of the majors during this season. He actually under underperformed his seeding at every tournament that he attended. So, if ranking someone with a 10 is top 10, because I think Cosmos is like an 8, dude. Like, he's like top 50. 
18, top 17, 18. Now, the Bosby, Bosby, he is a 10, obviously. Well, I mean, he's like 9.9, .9, or well, no, 9.9 .9 would be the best, right? He would be like, okay, it's Leo, Spargo, Pluto, Light. Oh, it might be 9.5, I can see that, yeah. Wizzy! So, Wizzy got... A 25th at Battle of BC, 17 at Momocon, 9th at Low Tide, he was so close to top 8. 33rd at Pound, and 49th at Genesis. I'm gonna say a 6. Didi, okay, 5th at Momocon. Oh yeah, it was his first major! Okay, dude, I don't remember how old Didi is, but I will tell you that if this was your first major and you got 5th at it, you have... A very bright future, my dude. Like, seriously, this is amazing. Unfortunately, I have to abstain. Because, like, it's only one top five. It's not enough data. Like, he does have one fifth. Uh, but it has to count for something, right? Like, he did get top five at, like, one of the most important majors. Maybe the most important major next to Genesis, probably. Let's put him at 6.5. We're only doing it because he only has one tournament. Not because he actually deserves to be there. So low at 6.5. But because he has one tournament and that's it, okay? Not because he sucks, not because whatever, no. So Elegant, he got 13 at low tide, okay. 97! I thought he got like 49. 97? Oh my god, okay. 97? 13? 17, which is not bad. Uh, this is tough. So, 7th at Summit, 17 at Collision. This is, like, relatively fine. Then 97 at Genesis. This affects a lot. And 13 at Lotet, and then after that, nothing really. Lotet was a tough tournament, too. Really, really tough. 7.5, so I'm gonna put him... I'm gonna give him, like, a 7.1, dude. Esam is also really interesting. Esam, I want to take a look at what he's been doing, because I know he hasn't gotten top 8 either. 9th at Battle of BC, uh, 9th at Combo Breaker, 25th at Genesis, 2 9ths, 1 25th. I think he is in the 20, in the 7.5 area. Yeah, I think that's pretty, I'm, I'm gonna give him 7.8. He does have 2 9ths. Fatality, also interesting. Fatality has a 13th at Momocon, not bad. 5th at Back in Blood, apparently a lot of people went to this. Yeah, no, he went to Summit, but got 13th. 1 13th at Summit, 25th at Genesis, and 13th at, eh, he might be in the top 26 area as well. Yeah, we're gonna give him a 7.5. Gact. Oh, Kagaribi is a really important tournament. Uh, but this is... Mm, but this is a Japanese tournament. And we're counting NA, right? Oh, no, but they said we could count the ones in the regions, right? 125th, 17th place. He might be like a 7.8 up, up, up there with Ezen, maybe. Maybe like 7.7. .7. Oh, Gluto is easy peasy. 10 is Leo, 9.9 .9 should be Spargo. So he's a 9.8. Goblin, interesting, because I also think Goblin was doing really well. 9th at Momocon, honestly, not bad. He was one away from top 8. He lost to Didi. 1 9th place. 17th at Low Tide. 33rd at Genesis. 9th at Summit. 13th at Collision. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, and then he got 5th at Delfino Massa. Um, yeah, <laughs> he lost to Meister. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like 7.9. Icy missed and she went to pound, got 17th, 25th at collision. Uh, she might be in the 7 area, honestly. Oh, we got I can. 9th at Genesis, 49th at low tide, 9th at combo breaker. I think he's around the 7 area as well, dude. Okay, so the 25th at 49th. Uh, I think he's a 5, yeah. Jackal is a player who also has a lot of interesting runs. 9th at pound. 13 at Collision, and that's about it. Uh, in the same area, like 7.5. Not enough data, but pretty good placements. Jake. Okay, I know Jake got top 3 at a glitch. Not that it counts for this ranking, because that was in February, I believe. But, aside from that, I never... Wow. <laughs> I never actually heard of Jake ever again. 25th at Momocon. Not that bad, I think. It might be a 6. Can just one battle of BC... That is huge points over here for our boy Ken on the PGR, bro. Yeah, that's huge points. He got first at Battle of BC. Insane. Oh, that's all. 13th in the first place. Brother. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, mainly because of the tournaments. Because of the quantity of tournaments. Not because of, like, his placements. Because his placements are pretty convincing. All right, Cola is someone that has really good placements. And I think he's top 10, right? He has to be top 10. See, 9th at Mobicon, 2nd at Low Tide, and 7th at Genesis. 
7th at Collision, 7th at Genesis, 2nd at Low Tide. Yeah, he might be 9 on the BGR, so 9.1. Larry Lur, 17 at Battle of BC. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He doesn't have any other tournaments. Don't do this to me, Larry. I know he has a 9th at Reta, but he didn't get any wins. He did beat MK Leo in this one twice. Six, maybe? Leon. Okay, so Leon got 17 at Pound. Not bad. And 13 at Collision, and that's it. Well, that means he's like six as well. Like 6.3? Light is pretty simple. So it's Leo. It's a 10. 9.9 .9 is Spargo. 9.8 is Gluto. 9.7 is light. Lynx tournaments, we have 9th at Momocon. That's pretty, pretty good. 13th at Pound. 25th at Collision. He didn't go to Genesis. He might be, um, 7.5 was top 26, right? Louis Money! Luis! 17th, 5th, and another 17th at Momocon, right? Yeah, he might be the top 25 area, so maybe a 7.7 .7 again. Meister! <laughs> I don't know that guy. Probably sucks or something. <laughs> yeah, let's give him a 4. Ah! <laughs> Um, all right, so me, let's take a look at my resume. This is cringe. I hate doing this. Oh, wow. It's Game & Watch flipping off someone. Okay. Let's take a look at this Meister. Freaking, oh, they put my Steve as a secondary. I feel really happy about that. Ew, we got second at Coinbox. Eh. We play Wi-Fi. Eh. <laughs> and we got third at Momocon. Really good. Really good, brothers. First at Coinbox, doing amazing on that one. I mean, I'm not gonna take it into account, but just wanted to point it out that we have a 19-1 set record in there. Mr. Game & Watch Judgment 2. Super important tournament. Okay, so real talk though. Third at Momocon. <laughs> Seventh at Low Tide. First at Houston's Limit Break. This actually had Mutes in there. 25th at Genesis. This was probably like the only bad one. And ninth at Summit win a proto banham win i i mean i've already said what i think of my position on the pgr i think i'm literally 10th on the list like it's 10 is leo again 10 is leo spargo is 9.9 .9. gluto is 9.8 yeah light is 9.7 9.6 might be tweak 9.5 is like the boss bomba might be 9.4 riddles might be 9.3 9.2 is cola and I'm 9.1. There we go. Obviously not our best season. We're gonna pop off even more. Oh, dude, I'm 23 and 0 against Lucas players. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Mars. He got sent. Wow, is that? Wow, is that really it? Cause this is the VIP bracket. Yeah, this is the VIP bracket. He only went to Genesis. You're kidding me. And I mean, and Kawhi Khan, but I mean. Because he got 7 at Genesis and it's such an important tournament. I guess it's 7.5. Okay, MK is literally like... <laughs> we don't even have to like think about that one. MPG. 33rd at Collision. Well, I mean, he does have two majors. So I'm gonna say 5.5 maybe? Mugen, I know who this is. 25th at Momocon. Don't tell me that's it. That's it. I'm sorry, man. But like, I don't have enough info for that. Like, yeah, no. Mutes! He has 5th at Low Tide, 2nd at Houston's Limit Break. This was a silver event for the Smash World Tour, by the way. I'm gonna put him at 7.4? He has a couple of top 8s, but the 65th at Genesis. MBD. 9th at Battle of BC, okay. 5th at Combo Breaker, there you go. Uh, 17th at Genesis, 25th at Collision. Okay, so this was literally, um, I think it should be like in the 26th. Myron. 13 at Momocon, 5th at Genesis, 13 at Pound, top 17-ish, so like maybe an 8. Ned, I have not heard of Ned at all. Like, I don't even know if he goes to weeklies in Chicago anymore, does he? 4th at Combo Breaker, 17 at Pound, 9th at Low Tide. Wow, this is all the way in Mega Smash Mondays? My dude has not... Uh, yeah, no, it's literally only this page. He has not attended that many tournaments. 17 at Pound, 9th at uh, Low Tide, 4 at Combo Breaker. Like, I'm gonna say like 7.2 maybe. Yeah. Ouch. Let me take a look at this. This is an interesting one. Because he just got third at Battle of BC. But besides that, got third at Low Tide. Or not Low Tide, Battle of BC. You're kidding if that's his only tournament. You're kidding? Yeah. <laughs> Brother, you cannot do this to me. Okay, let's take a look at some of his weeklies, I guess. Oh, uh, he literally got third at a very important tournament with very important wins. Let's put him at like 8.2. I would, I actually want to put Abstain, but I'm not sure about that. Peep Nuts. 25th at Momocon, 33rd at Pound, 17th at Collision. Yeah, he might be in the 
area in the 50s, like maybe 5.2. Pink Fresh. 33 pound, 65th, 17. He might be in the 50s as well. Yeah, he might be in the. Riddles is top 10, right? We agreed on that. Sen. Yeah, he got 9 at Momocon. There you go. He also. 65th at Genesis. So a 65th and a 9th. Hey, he's probably in the 50s as well. Sean. My goodness, he only went to pound, let me guess. Let me guess, he only went to... Oh, of course he has a 65th at Momo. 7th at pound. A 7th and a 65th. <laughs> I'm gonna put him at like 8, like the 30s type of thing. Shadik, my boy. He got 17 at Momocon, not bad. 9 at low tide, pretty good. Top 26, yeah, an actual 7.5 would be good. Yes, sir. Sinji, 33rd and 25th at Collision. Oh, wait, and that's it, actually. Collision was the... Yeah, I'm gonna abstain. Siski, an interesting one again. Battle of BC, 7, 9 the Genesis. He might be like in the 20s. 8.2. Skittles. 33rd at Momocon and 17th at Genesis. That's it, right? That's like six, maybe. Sky J, my buddy Sky J. Let's take a look, man. 33rd at Low Tide, 33rd at Genesis. Yeah, he's in the 35th. It's like a six. 0.8. Sonics is interesting. I know he's gotten a couple of top eights. Hey, yo, he he been chasing the bag, bro. You know, like coin box has a pretty good price pool. You know, like damn. Alrighty, is that really it? The rest are just online tournaments. There's no well, I mean. So two fifth places, is that what this is? Very few tournaments, not enough data, but he's definitely like two top eights at majors is good. I mean like in the 15s. Spargo is 9.9. .9. Dog Taker 69. Oh, actually I know about this guy. So apparently he hasn't been to anything. 65th at pound, 9th at collision. Oh yeah, he actually, mm, this might, yeah, I was pretty sure about this. Okay, so 65th means 65th means... Are you done, motherfucker? Yeah, he has like a 65th and then a 9th. Teaser. A 25th at Momocon. 17th at Genesis. Actually pretty good. Uh, so this should be like top 30s, but because of the number, um, I think... I guess 7.9 would be good for Teaser. Yeah. Tilde. I know Tilde's been placing well. 17 at Battle of BC. Hell yeah. 9 that... Are you kidding me? Is that really all he attended? 33rd, 17th, and 9th. Yeah, 25th. Toast! I know who Toast is, go to Young Link. But I unfortunately haven't heard of him in a while, man. 33rd at Momocon, and 17th at Collision. Mm, 5.3. Tsuwa Tsuwa. 17th at Pound, 49th at Genesis. Like the 50s as well. I kind of want to say abstain, but like, I don't know. Okay, Tweak, ugh, a tough one. Cause like, I know he's in the top 10, but like, let's see. So, 9.6 Tweak, there we go. Vendetta, the only thing I've heard about Vendetta was his first attempt versus Andres FN. 17 at Momocon, 97 at Genesis. And that's it, yeah, that's it. Cause he does have 17th, yeah. Yanni. All right, so Yanni has a lot of weeklies. <laughs> 13 at Momocon, 13 at Genesis. Meister lost to him because he went Sora. <laughs> Alright. So two 13s, one 17, 7.9 maybe. And then Zamba, 9.4 might be Zamba. So, to answer the question, who is top 10 in the PGR of June 22, or at least as of June 22, which is when I did this ballot, the, the PGR will be posted in August, so... We're still missing a little bit of time. As of June 2022, according to my opinion, who is the top, who are the top 10 of the PGR Smash Ultimate? It is number 10, MKLeo, that's number one. Spargo is number two with a 9.9 .9 score. Glutoni is 9.8. Light is a 9.7. 9.6 is Tweak. 9.5 is the boss. 9.4, Zamba. 9.3 is Riddles. 9.2 is Cola. 9.1 is a dude named Meister. Why, why am I doing this? A dude named Meister. <laughs> the one and only. But anyways, that's the top 10. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're liking it and you're loving this type of content because we are uploading a little bit more often now. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell and all of that good YouTube stuff. And if you guys want to go ahead and watch this stuff live, go to twitch.tv slash MeisterGNW. I stream Monday through Friday at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.